WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We, this is uh, TFNN. Uh, sorry about this, folks. Okay, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 150. Nasdaq's uh, down 20. S&P's down 250. Gold. Gold contract down $2.10, trading at 1558 an ounce. We have silver down 26 cents, $17.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. $58.34 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year up 17 ticks, 129.19. The 30-year up a point and a half at 158.21. Now, both notes and bonds, you're talking about expansion in price. It has it all with volume behind the move. These continue to want higher price, lower yield. We get over and we take a look at the 10-year first. You're going to see it took out its consolidation over the last two weeks, going after the highs that were generated out here on the 8th of January. That's your high volume high. And that, folks, is saying that we also can get up to 133.02 inside the 10-year, which is going to just continue to bring rates into lower price. Right now, the yield is 1.76. We get open, we take a look at the dollar. Dollar index right now had a nice counter trend bounce last week. Bottom line, hanging at the highs out here, 97.533. What the dollar has not done, however, is that it has not broken its downtrend that it change from an uptrend to a downtrend on the first week of December. Bottom line, that number there, in order to break that, would have to get way above uh, the, about the 99 mark, and right now, you're at the 97 mark. We get open, we take a look at the S&Ps, what you have happening in the S&Ps out here. You get a sideways move out here. Bottom line, SPY got to a price point today of 3.3218. Your high out here was 3, look at that, was 3.3218. So this is about as intense as you get. We actually tested the highs of Friday. You're going to have light of volume right to the penny. That's pretty amazing, actually, because what we did on Friday is that you had higher highs on Friday and you had volume behind the move. Today out here, uh, you're not going to have volume behind the move. The Qs have also tested the highs. 223. 84 and 223.56 was the high. Bottom line, it's going to be really intriguing because what you have there, that is a test of the highs, failure on price, failure on volume after this monster expansion topside. Stay right there, folks. Come back next 60 Minutes Trading.